No one is safe from criticism. I would think somebody like the number one player in the country would be safe, but this ESPN Porter just ripped Cooper Flag apart. Now, before we get in this video, man, if you do enjoy these types of videos and you want to see a face reveal on this channel, I've been considering it for a minute. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. We hit a thousand likes, man. I will consider dropping the face reveal. I know a lot of people want to see it, so show me some love in the likes and in the comments, man, and I will consider that face reveal. Now, this dude named Adam, who basically was speaking on Cooper Flag. If you don't know Cooper Flag, top player in the country, he's been out here dominating, has been playing in EYBL, hoops for Mont Verde, and he's from Maine. He is really out here putting on for Maine. Now, this dude actually had this to say about Cooper Flag. I think it's unfair to put this type of expectation on Cooper Flag. I mentioned Amani Bates earlier. People who work for major media outlets should have learned a lesson. Based on what happened to Amani, Cooper is the best prospect in high school. But some of the things I've heard better than Wemby, best prospect since LeBron, his high school numbers were spectacular, but he was playing in the E16 division. He wasn't even in the full EYBL. If you look at his numbers on Montverde, he averaged 9 points per game. He was the 4th leading scorer on this team. So there is still some something to prove. This is insane to me. I'm not going to lie. I think number 1, I didn't even know Cooper Flag wasn't playing in the regular EYBL. I mentioned it in a ton of my vids where I saw the competition he was playing. And I was wondering, I'm like... These dudes look a little small to be playing in EYBL, which is crazy. But at the end of the day, it's still a super tough league. Now to his other point of being about playing in Montverde, man, a lot of you guys were putting comments in here. And let's just take a look at this one. Nine on Montverde as a sophomore is like 30 anywhere else. And that's a fact. I got to give credit to this dude right here. Because you got to understand, Montverde is one of the best schools in the country out there. They have produced so many talented players. So for someone to come over here and say that Montverde, averaging nine points on Montverde is nothing, is just insane to me. Again, man, you go to a school, any other school, you are dropping 30, 40 point games. You see what he was doing in EYBL. So I got to be honest, man, that comment was kind of crazy to me. Now, another comment here says, Amani should have been a lottery pick, though. He proved that in the summer league. And I think it's interesting that he called out kind of Amani Bates in this situation because we all know Amani Bates was another top high school player. He was pretty solid, got into some trouble, and I believe he ended up getting drafted last in the NBA draft when people thought he might even be an NBA lottery pick because they were calling him the next LeBron basically when he was in high school. And I think that just shows you too to his point. Man, the media will hype up these players like crazy. You got to be careful and not let anything to get to your head and just stay focused on the game of basketball. Don't try to be in the streets. Don't try to be do doing all this other stuff because at the end of the day, it could really cut your basketball career short. And these dudes have a huge potential, man. Cooper Flagg is one of these guys who could make millions and millions of dollars, play basketball, take care of his family. And all he has to do is stay focused on the game. And sometimes some of these other guys who have a ton of talent and are in similar positions, Man, they throw it away. I'm going to be honest. They got a lot of yes men around them. You see the whole Mikey Williams situation where he's being charged for, you know, pulling out a firearm and letting five rounds at a car. But at the end of the day, it's crazy, man. You got to have the right people around you and just not yes men talking in here. I think Cooper Flag seems like he's pretty locked into the game. And low key, yo, this is the same reporter who actually had something to say about Bronny James. Or I think he said something kind of similar that Bronny was overrated basically and at the end of the day bro i think as long as cooper flag just stays locked into the game he's just going to be all right and i mean you look at his height overall bro is super tall he's at least probably 6'10 in my opinion i mean he can shoot the ball he can play pretty well only thing he's not super super athletic he has good defense though i gotta give him that and i think his handle is not the best either but those two things man if he works on that i mean he already has height for the nba as long as he just continues to develop Bro could really do some things in the NBA. Now, I will say this about Cooper Flag as well, and I'm not going to lie. Man, Cooper is one of these guys who, low-key, he doesn't have the flashiest game. I, I don't know what it is, but a lot of these dudes who have super flashy games in high school just do not translate well moving forward. I mean, you got people like Trayvon Duvall. You got, let's see, Isaiah Briscoe. Like, a lot of these dudes who are super flashy, and that's their thing, and it gets them a lot of attention, man. They... I swear, a ton of times, these dudes never even could really play in the NBA like that. 
And I'm not even trying to knock them, but I low-key think that Cooper Flag having more of a boring game, or at least not as flashy. I'm not going to, let me not violate and say it's boring, but at least not as flashy. I think could be a huge positive in his factor and just making it overall to the next level. But don't get me wrong. NBA players, some of these dudes are flashy, but a lot of times, as long as you have the fundamentals and you can really be coached, you don't have an attitude like, you know, Julian Newman and all that, man, I think you'll be locked in for sure. Now, click this next video on the screen because you won't want to miss this drama.